how to create an affiliate website using Google Sites. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do. So guys, Google Sites is an amazing place to build almost any kind of new site to really for free, whether that will be uh, for a student portfolio, for an event, a help center, and much more. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do in order to have our very first site speaking about affiliation marketing. So as you can see right here, into the site.google.com, I have just signed it in into my Google account. And as you can see, I have created a few sites sites here but what I want to do now is to create my very first affiliated marketing uh, website so in order to get started what I wanted to do is to look out for an affiliation plan if you don't know what to actually start to affiliate what I can totally suggest to you is to look out for the 29 best um, sections best affiliation process that Shopify has to offer to us so this is a blog that was created of course by Shopify that can be helping us to find like the right program for beginners in our case of course this is totally for us so for example of course they do have for example the actual affiliation of Shopify so Shopify tells you that sometimes we received a hundred percent of commission of the first two payments of any subscription plan to free purchases. So I'm going to be earning, let's say, for example, thirty nine dollars per month, one hundred and five dollars of Shopify, advanced Shopify. This is the commission rate, the how much I'm going to be get paid, and the payment method the cookie durations and affiliation support. If you are interested in that, what you want to do is to look out for the one that says affiliation marketing with Shopify. It's going to be taking me here. And what I want to do is to get into apply now. So this one is going to be sending me into the new section of the impact. So what I can do is to send the proposal here and I have the Shopify, for example, this is the status, the send on. And once I have successfully, uh, let's say received and approved my proposal, I can start to receive a links into in here. For example, I have one of partner of Canva. So what I can do now that I have my custom actual uh, linked, what I can do is to start by creating a new website. So first of all, guys, now that I have found an affiliation program, what I want to do is to, of course, try to uh, incentivize people to do that. So for example, I'm going to uh, locate the affiliation process of Fiverr. Now, Fiverr is a great place to earn commissions, to just drive some traffic to Fiverr, and you're gonna be earning lots of money just to drive traffic here. So I just signed in, I choose an affiliation marketing program, I have now my account, and as you can see, it's gonna be looking something like this. Here, start earning now, or go into logged in now, depending on what is the actual um, section that appears for you, it's gonna be appearing something like this. So here it says that we promote Fiverr.com and get one time commission if from $15 to $150 from every new buyer, depending on the service the buyer purchases. So what I want to do now that I have the links that people are going to need to, of course, click in it, I want to customize my website in order to start earning money. So I'm going to go into Google Sites and here I want to look out for the template gallery. So I want to try to talk about why is it great to start working or start earning money into the place that I want to make an affiliation process. So we have the work section, we have the restaurant, we have the block work, we have the wedding, we have an occasion. So let's say that I want to look out for something that can be a little more accurate for me. So I'm going to try to look for a, let's go for a project or let's go for the walker. So I'm going to click here and this is more business going to be taking me into this new template section. So as you can see, there's a lot of sections that I can use. I'm going to go into pages and here into page, I just have just only one page, which I think is like truly, truly great. So I can start to customize my website as I want to. For example, the very first part of this, let's say I'm going to go and delete this like that. And I want to customize this new text. I'm going to go for um, the best tools. Or let's go for why do you need to work with Fiverr in the 2023? Something like that. I'm going to make this a little bit more big enough and go with a bold like this. And there we go. So once I have successfully created something like that, I'm just going to make this into the center part. I'm going to just customize this a little bit more. And there we go. 
So as you can see, there are a few docs in the background. I can totally change that. So first of all, I'm going to click where it says change image. I'm going to go for select and let's go for searched so I can look out for a commotion image of Google search. I'm going to type for Fiverr and let's go for something that we can use into our background. For example, this one or this one that totally depends on you. So take a look into how it's going to be looking your actual um, linked your actual Heather and there you go. Now here it says about me. Let's go for what is Fiverr. I want to talk about what is the affiliation program I wanted to talk about. Now here it says the actual prices, the work services and what. So I want to change that for the benefits of being a freelancer. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So what I want to do is to do like let's say for like this some kind of a blocked and this is going to be really useful for the people who are actually reading my actual blog. So I'm going to just change this one for 12 and delete the bold. And back in here, I want to create a new section. I'm going to go into the insert and I have some content blocks. So I can have the collapsible group, the table of contents, the divider, the spacer, social link, the placeholder, and much more. I want to just locate my text box. And here I'm going to type the alignment, the center, and let's go why choosing Fiverr. Once you have just bring valuable to the people who are seeing your blog, down in here, what you want to do is to add something new called, let's say, get started today. New text mark. I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller. Let's say 18 and hit into the answer mark like this. And then what I want to do is to import the button of my actual product. So it says getting started today, the name of my product, let's say learned more. And here into the link, I want to go back into the link that was generated for me. Let's say for example, this one, and I'm going to copy the fiber CPA. I'm going to copy this into my clipboard. I'm going to go back here into Google sites and I'm going to paste this link here and I'm going to go into the insert. I want to change the actual colors. So here it says title number one, two, and three. We only have three colors. You don't want to worry about that. What you want to do is to look out for the themes. And here into themes, what I want to do is to create a new custom theme so I can start to change the actual colors, the name of my logo, the brand, the banner images, and whatever you want to do. And there we go. I'm going to hit into view. And this is how it's going to be looking my Google site. Why do you need to work with Fiverr in the 2023? This is what is Fiverr about, the benefits of being a freelancer, why choosing Fiverr to get started today. And down in here, you can see the learn more button. So if I click into learn more, it's going to be sending me right away into the Fiverr section with the actual uh, CPA of my actual um, account. And of course, if the people start to work here, we're going to be earning money here. So that totally depends on what is the actual plan that you choose of it specific affiliation program. So you want to first check it out. What is the actual benefit of the company that you're actually looking for? And with that being said, we have now started to have an affiliation program. So here, lastly, I just want to change this from Dog Walker into Fiverr and here into the site name. Of course, you want to import the name of your brand. And after that, you're actually good to go. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools that you can use with Google Site. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, see you on the next video. See you soon.